Hi, welcome to Pauline Interviews. I'm excited to interview Jan Anglesmith again because she's a very interesting person <laughs> and she established the only accredited university of shamanism in the United States. Now, if that is an accomplishment, I don't know what is. <laughs> and today Jan is going to talk about something just as exciting. She has a new webinar and I've asked her to help me um, put this, well, she put it together and helped me put it together so we get the message out there to you. And uh, before we talk about that, um, for those of you who haven't seen the other interview with Jan, we're going to talk a little bit about who she is and her background and what she does. So Jan, having said that, I'm going to turn yeah. it over to you. Let us sure. know um, what work you do, what your background is, and um, then we'll get into the webinar. Great. Thank you very much. And it's always such a pleasure to do these interviews with you. And thank you for having me on again. So my background, I have a very variety of a background, or very varied background, I should say. Um, I started out in teaching high school biology, chemistry, uh, ecology, geology. I have a composite degree in science, so I was very grounded in the sciences. And then after that, I got a master's in psychology and education, and I had a private practice, and I was always really interested in why it took people so long to heal. I myself was in therapy as a young person for 12 years. And I thought, 12 years, that's just too long. Do you mind if I ask you what was the therapy about? Well, childhood issues. Oh, t OK. Yeah, all right, because yeah, yeah. I, I know you today, and I'm saying, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we all start with these different yeah. <laughs> backgrounds, yeah. right? And being a very results-oriented person, I just thought, something is a myth here. I'm not sure what it is, but I wanted to have greater results with my clients. And as it is, during that time, I had a spiritual awakening, which we Talk, just talked, about, talked yeah. about on the end of other interview. But it's also written in uh, my book, which is called Becoming Yourself, The Journey from Head to Heart. And it's also in a new book that came out this year called Shamanism for the New Millennium. And that's a, a book of 16 different people and their uh, callings that they had to shamanism. And so mine was picked as one of the 16 in this book. Wow. So it was, it was very profound and it changed my life completely. But it also gave me the tools to understand that healing does not have to be uh, lengthy. You can have healing for wounds that can happen in a faster in a faster way. So your background, we're going to go to your webinar, but your background's energy medicine. And then I, I asked you before we started talking on camera, um, you said something about your version of energy medicine. I got confused, and then when you explained it, it made sense to me. Right. Well, my version of energy medicine is that I see people as an energy system. Or another word for that is soul, that you are a soul having a human experience. Or if we want to put that into a broader context than just soul for those people that are very invested in sciences and mm -hmm. things like that, you have this complex energy system that I believe is made out of love. It is um, the same energy as creator or the divine and that this energy system needs to be maintained and maintenanced. The problem that I see in the world is that you know, people have doctors for your body, you have doctors for your mind and emotions, but what about this energy system that is the primary part of you that actually needs to be taken care of? You have losses to it or it can, can get a little bit contaminated or needs to be cleaned up periodically. And that's what shamanism knows how to do. And so to me, blending all the things that I know about science and psychology and shamanism was a great blend to come up with my version of energy medicine. And speaking of science, which is part of your background, as you said, we can see the energy field. So it's, yes. not, it's not a mystery. <laughs> it's not a mystery yeah, anymore. Yeah, you can actually yes. see the field. Yes. I mean, thanks to Carillion is, Carillion is one of them. Photography yeah. uh -huh. and people can see the uh, energy. Some people have the ability to see energy around you. Absolutely. 
um, clairvoyant. Uh -huh. So uh, you said something about um, people have these core needs, and with the kind of work you're doing, you help them uh, find out what these needs are and, and uh, get to the bottom and, and help them make their life a lot much better, right. more worth it, more right. purposeful. I really believe that the core need of most people is to be valued and to have purpose in life. I call this a call to love and that most behaviors, even really dysfunctional behaviors or bad behaviors, is actually just a call to love. And if you can address a person and not by not seeing them as wrong or bad or faulty or less than, and you can really address them seeing their value and their purpose and teaching them how to, or not even teaching, but bringing them to the awareness by showing them certain things and explaining certain things, that when they become aware of this truth in themselves, it's an extremely empowering type of experience that they have that then, you know, brings out the best in them. Mm -hmm. Say, giving somebody a good word. And it works kind of two ways, too. Um, people have to take responsibility in loving themselves, too, because I think a lot of people are hard on So we be kind to you, but you be kind to you, too, right? Yes. Learn how to love yourself and care for yourself. And it's not just learning how to do it, but understanding the truth of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about this in a religious way. I'm talking about it in an energetic way, like really seeing and understanding how, what we're composed of, how energy works, mm -hmm. and why this, this is actually a true statement. It's not take it by faith. Mm -hmm. It's an actual truth that can right. be proven. Proven, <laughs> proven, yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah, woo-woo. It's, it's not woo-woo, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a fact. Okay. What do you think is one of the common issues that people are struggling with nowadays, or struggling with, period? <laughs> right. To me, one of the major struggles for people is again seeing this value in themselves and also worldwide it tends to be in the sense of lack mm -hmm. all right a lack of money a lack mm -hmm. of time mm -hmm. a lack of love those those three things sort of move in tandem together mm -hmm. and when you are identified with lack and not enough you also feel like you're not enough and these all of these things money time and love are also an energy system and when you learn how to work with energy you have access to these things that a lot of people don't have access because they see them outside of their ability to control or to have any empowerment over when really when you know how to access and work with energy you can apply it to anything. You can apply it to your home, to your family, to your occupation, to money in itself, anywhere that you feel that you need to apply these laws and these understandings, you have access to it. So that's really empowering for yeah, a person. That's a very good point because a lot of people feel that they're just a cog in the wheel and life takes them down the road and they have no control over it. They feel very limited and unempowered, right? So exactly. if they could learn what you're teaching, then it would turn everything around for them. Absolutely, and that is where the biggest success is, is that you have unlimited potential. And I know that that might be a phrase like, well, how do I access it? I'm going to show you how to access right. it. You know? I know, that's it. We're going to talk about that. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're espousing all these things. People go, yeah, it's easy for you to say, but how do I do it? But we're going to tell you. Yes. Just hold on. Yes, yes. Um, now, one thing you've said is healing is not a process of the mind. It is an energetic transformation that is felt in the heart. That's what do you mean right. by that? Well, what I found in my psychotherapy practice was that people could understand. It was like a cognitive process that they were trying to go through. They could understand what had happened to them, what their issues were, but they couldn't really feel it. Like they couldn't feel the wellness. Yeah, I get it. But it, you know, that heart part wasn't very activated. It's not, and healing is not a cognitive process. It's an energetic process, meaning that something happened to you energetically 
during the difficulty, the wounding process that took place. Mm -hmm. And when you know how to access that energy that left you or that you needed to get it back, part of your divinity, part of your own soul, and have access to that again, mm -hmm. then it's felt in the heart. And you can actually move forward and say, I've moved past this. This is a closure. You feel complete. It's, um, it's a real sense of fulfillment mm -hmm. that then takes place. I don't want to get too technical, but being a shaman, and I've had a soul retrieval, that's what you're kind of talking about, where I you am. lose part of your soul, and, mm -hmm. and then you retrieve it and put it back so you're whole again. Right. But what about those people that haven't heard about shamanism or don't have access to a shaman? Right, right. This is what I want to address in these webinars. Like, how can I empower you, Pauline, mm -hmm. or you, audience, to say, this is how this works. How can you do this on your own? Mm -hmm. yes. And that way, mm -hmm. you get to receive, regardless if you've ever Mm -hmm. been in my office or anybody else's office or place that you need to receive the healing. It's for everybody. It's to get that message to oh. you on how to do this and, and why it works. <laughs> and so we're going to talk about, now we're on to the webinar, so tell us more about what you've developed. Sure. The name of the webinar is Recreate Yourself, Seven Truths for Guaranteed <laughs> Success. And we say guaranteed because I have personally done over 3,500 soul retrievals, which you just referred to mm -hmm. as yes. um, the healing modality. And in that healing modality, I learned so much about life and lifetimes and how energy systems work, how healing works, not from a textbook, not from you know reading about this, from the experience of watching these things happen to people when we were adjusting their energy and, and doing these healing ceremonies on them. That just opened up so many doors for me in my mm -hmm. own awareness of how this works. And my next question to myself was, well, how can I make this in a usable format that anybody can understand it, taking out all the technical terms or the vocabulary mm -hmm. of shamanism and putting it more into a, uh, a vocabulary of self-help and understanding. People and get nervous when they hear shamanism. Yeah, I don't mean do. to um, interrupt do. you, but I was just thinking, I said that to somebody and they go, oh no, we don't do shamanism. I mean, why are they afraid of it? What do they think it is? I think there's an old style of it and people conjure up images of people in grass skirts and spears Voodoo or something. And things like that. <laughs> I don't know. And Carlos Castaneda kind of gave um, it a bad name with, oh. you know, all of the power trips that he was on. My version, the actual meaning of the word is somebody who sees in the dark with their heart. So I've seen That's it a beautiful as beautiful expression. Yeah. I've always seen it as this heart felt mm -hmm. way of working with somebody from this place of I see you as love and and I'm going to help you in the best mm -hmm. way that I can. Now that's again my version of mm -hmm. it but I agree people did not necessarily respond well to the word so why use the word? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're know? an energy healer, you're, no, you're doing energy medicine, I should say, you're doing energy work. Yeah, I don't, yeah. do, do you like to be saying energy healer? Because you don't do the healing, the person heals themselves, you're kind of a facilitator. We facilitate it, yeah. you could use it, and either it, one yeah. of them work. Yeah, uh, we can just get so technical. Yes, <laughs> yes, and I just feel as if I want to make, create something which recreate yourself, mm -hmm. these webinars are addressing all of this information that I have learned through my whole adult life and 3,500 soul retrievals under my belt, oh, God. <laughs> that <laughs> how can I make this accessible to the public? And it's not just about, I mean, soul retrieval is one fraction, mm -hmm. just a fraction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the understanding in how energy works mm -hmm. and how to make it um, available in the, your, the understanding of that 
in a language that anybody can understand. How many modules are there? Sure. There's seven modules per mm -hmm. webinar. Oh, okay. Right now there's wow. one webinar available. Mm -hmm. In the future there will be more and we're looking forward to designing all of them because you you know my life's work is more than seven modules. <laughs> oh yeah, hope, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> but, Mine might be seven but yours is a lot more. <laughs> so we plan on taking all the information that mm -hmm. I've been learning and again making it in a very usable form. So each module uh, has slideshow presentation with me describing things. I actually have a partner in this too. Her name is Karen Hefner, and she has been a very active partner with me. And Karen will be the one that is actually uh, fielding questions and possibly doing personal work with people that, that would desire that to happen. But each module will have PDFs and worksheets that you can download. To, that you can download. Yeah. And so it's a self-paced thing. The whole series of seven would take you about three hours to go through. Oh, that's a whole, that's not bad. No, but you can, you can mm -hmm. do, break it up into, each module itself is probably about 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not so bad at all. So it's something that you could work with and you can go over and over the material again. There's tons of resources in there. And then we t also took the time to make sure that we were hitting all the different learning styles because uh -huh. people learn differently. That's right. So Karen and I both took tests uh -huh. to see where we uh, accentuate in our own styles. And we were both really naturally balanced in all the different learning styles, which was really kind of unique. But then where I was low, she was high. And where she was high, I was low. And so I feel like mm -hmm. the combination of us two we're hitting them all. So and the learning styles are visual. People, people are visually, auditorily. I mean, by listening, yeah. and also um, feeling, mm -hmm. kinesthetic, kinesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we also looked at people that would want to have science information, oh, like okay. that need to yeah. have things validated yeah. with with mm -hmm. the science. See, I'm visual. I said, I see what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there was a lot of things that we went through mm -hmm. training to be able to create a very high quality product. That's yeah. great. I have a question here, but I um, tell, tell me about the Super Self, which yeah. is part of the webinar, right? It is. And the Super Self is something that I created before, and you were really jazzed about when I created it. And so I thought, well, I'm going to yeah. talk a little bit more about the Super Self today. And I think that the audience will have pictures of uh -huh. this that I supplied. But the super self is a version of you that is really quite outstanding. And it's a, the part of you that you have access to that is in the field of all positive possibilities. And through a guided meditation, I take you into the version of you that is the super self and give you access to all of these possibilities that you then can work with this meditation on a daily basis and you actually take that that possibility and bring it into your heart mm. and then bring it into the manifested form and I do this by teaching you how to embody really high frequency energies such as appreciation and gratitude and really embody which means to completely feel them, mm -hmm. to feel these feelings. And when you can feel these feelings and you're thinking about what you want to manifest in your life and you're feeling these feelings, boom, it pops into mm -hmm. 3D reality. You almost become supernatural. <laughs> you do. Well, there's a big portion of you that is. Yeah, and we and just don't know it. Oh, and that's what I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. um, I had one question before. Um, how do we lose the knowledge. I mean, why do we have to get it back? I mean, right. what happened? <laughs> yeah. We tend to put a lot of energy and thought into our wounds and the things that have gone wrong. Mm. And, and the, the past. The past, yeah, which is a function of the ego. Which, you know, the ego is always telling you stories 
making up stories about things that have happened and worried about the future. It's not very present. In fact, it's not present at all. So these modules and the, the webinar is tapping into a part of you that is very much the part of you that knows the truth, unclouded by those wounds and unclouded by those past messages. And there is a part of you that knows that. A, a, a greater uh -huh. part of you, actually. It's just unfortunately that in our culture, we accentuate that in our language, we accentuate it in our conversations and, and really how we think of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so this hidden stuff, this stuff that's actually the truth, but it's down deep mm -hmm. in, your, in your heart, mm -hmm. has been clouded over. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to access that information. I again. think that, would, that, would mean, that makes me excited, just that one thing you talked about. I want to I become a, you know, a powerful, uh, manifesting person. I mean, Absolutely. Because not only does that improve my life, but it improves other people's lives Absolutely. around me. It so. improves the world. It, it improves, improves the humanity. world. <laughs> we, want, we want to raise our vibration, and by raising our vibrations, we're raising the vibration of the world, too. Which, Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I have trouble. I have to, I, my sister knows, too, and, and um, we catch each other saying, let's not think about the negative things that are happening. Yeah. Let's focus more on the good things that are happening. That's right. And I told you, if people don't mind, that, that you are one of my mentors. <laughs> I have three women I consider my mentors, and I just, I'm, I'm so excited to have met you and to be learning from you, because I definitely want to get a little, my vibration higher, too. Well, thank you. And manifest. Yeah, and I think the, one, the work you're doing is amazing. I'm just, I'm just excited about it, and I hope other people will be, too. Especially, I hope they'll do, watch your webinar. And then, um, let's see, you have a free service on Facebook. What is that about? Yeah. Well, just like you were saying, trying to think of the positive, not everybody can do that naturally. They're kind of stuck in habits. I call them almost knee-jerk reactions. Something happens, and the knee-jerk reaction is to be critical or judgmental or feel bad about something. I was led by my own guidance to create this a few years ago. It's called the Feel Good Challenge. It's on Facebook, oh. and it's so it's free, you know. But you do have to join the the Facebook group because it's a, a closed a closed group. But the point of it is is that energetically, it only takes you 16 seconds to change your vibration. Really? Yeah. It's a very minor amount of time. And the longer you can hold that higher vibration, you build a positive momentum. Now, the higher your vibration is, the higher your broadcast is, which means the greater things you're going to manifest to you that are going to be of an, an, a matched energy. Meaning, if you want something good to happen, when you're feeling good, the likelihood of that coming in is much greater. Okay. So, how can I help people change their vibration every day? So, the Feel Good Challenge is one challenge a day on Facebook where I write a little excerpt. I write a little, um, I, have a, I have a sample here. I'll, okay. I'll give you one in Go just a second. Yeah. But I write a little excerpt, and then I say, for me, these are the words that I'm going to choose to feel around this issue today. Mm -hmm. What are your words? So you're going to pick five words. Okay, everything's high vibrational. So think about how many 16 seconds have gone by. You might spend five minutes a day doing this, but what's happened energetically for you is boom, all of a sudden you've got a different awareness, a different way of looking mm -hmm. at the day and you're learning how to have a different response to life. Mm -hmm. So just from that simple exercise of five minutes a day, you can start changing a momentum in you that has been overshadowing you and creating results that you don't want and you don't know why you do, how you got stuck in it in the first place. Five minutes is no time. <laughs> it's no time. No. And it's kind of fun. So do you want me to read a, sure. an excerpt? I think I... I brought it here. 
And it's okay if you read. I mean, yeah, sure. We, we want to get the information out whatever way we do it. Okay. So here's one that I just pulled off the Feel Good Challenge. So it says, complaining is an energy that causes more problems. Some people are unaware of how much they complain. Some people think that the complaining will actually change a situation. Complaining is a low frequency energy that will actually cause your body to ache, your pocket put your pocketbook to drain, and your relationships to be strained. Instead, relook at any situation that you feel upset about and try to reframe it. If that seems too hard to do, decide to focus on a few aspects of your life where you can feel appreciation. Because some people will say, God, it's just, I cannot see anything good in that. Okay, what do you appreciate? Uh -huh. You know, let's just do that. So then I say, what are five feelings you choose to feel today that will invoke appreciation? Here are mine. Potential. Choice. Inspired. Motivated. And bright. Very positive words. What about you? What would invoke appreciation for you? Which words do you choose? You want, you want me to do yeah, it? Yeah, just oh. any, cheer, any words um, that would invoke well, appreciation. You mentioned it, but possibilities get, yeah. excite me because I have so many possibilities. Enthusiasm, excitement, adventure. I need one more, right? Um, health, work. because it'll make me healthy. Yeah. So look at, it's wasn't easy. that kind of fun to do? That was fun. It was very easy. And I it's mean, very I was just easy. pulling them out. Yeah. I've, yeah, no, and it's great. How does that feel? I okay. feel good. Yeah. I feel good, yeah. Yeah. When you just say words like that, mm hmm the reason you feel good is because those words are high vibrational energies. You are a high vibrational system, like I was saying earlier. That means those words are a match for your truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right? Now, if you were to say words and you're complaining, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're, you know, yeah. you're ma you, angry. Yeah, you, you start you, going. You, you <laughs> and yeah, and withdraw. You get, you, you get tight. You get aches oh, and yeah, pains. Yeah. It's because your body's saying to you, those words are not a match for your truth. They're damaging. They're hurtful. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, stop, stop, stop. I'm hurting. I'm aching. Years ago, I bought a book called Words That Heal. I'm going to go and find that book and yeah. <laughs> look at it some more. Well, any of the high-frequency words heal. Mm -hmm. And I have hundreds of them. I mean, I just keep pages and pages of them. Mm -hmm. Because people, some people don't even know what a... A uh, positive word is they're they're so yeah. unfamiliar with them. I say here, look at this list. I, I agree. I know people like that. <laughs> yeah. I know it just makes you feel good. And this is maybe somewhat related, but sometimes if I see somebody and they got pretty hair or something, I like to compliment people too. Absolutely, it makes me feel good, and I know it makes them feel good, and they go yes. away. And it's just a thing you can pass on. And again, the reason for that is because that compliment is a match for their truth. And your body responds, your psyche responds, everything about you responds and says, yes, that's healthy, that feels good. This popped into my head too. Um, parents who are watching this or people who have children, they should realize they've got to be careful what they say to children because they oh. carry that with them. I mean, you know, it's... Even 12 years in therapy myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh now I know why. <laughs> this yeah, is, they this carry it with them. Oh, sure. so, I, you know, I just... I, I just think of, I mean, I'm not Pollyanna, but it's nice. It makes you feel good to be a good person. <laughs> That's all I can Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it not only makes you feel good, you become healthy. Mm -hmm. What we learn in shamanism and oh. energy medicine is, is that every illness from any illness that you can think of that exists has an energetic component to it, meaning that something invaded, some energy invaded. Maybe it was a word. Maybe it was... Um, bad food could yeah could be that but it invades into your system it knocks it out of alignment and then something starts happening where your system is out of alignment your energy is out of alignment it will then manifest into an illness mm -hmm. it starts in your energy field first it I've said starts before, yeah. in your energy field mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. that's why again this key to these this web webinar and the modules is is that we're learning how to adjust your energy system and stay healthy and to stay healthy mm -hmm. physically mentally 
emotionally, spiritually. The key is in the energy system. All the other things adjust when you get the core. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you have, if you can work on the energy system, you can heal yourself. Absolutely. There's nothing that's incurable. That's right. I love it. That is absolutely right. Whereas, you know, in our world, the way that we have it set up, we work on the body. And yeah, you might get a, little, a few results. You're working on symptoms. Mm -hmm. But is it really healed or will it just show up someplace else? Mm -hmm. The symptoms are there for a reason. They're telling you something's wrong. You don't want to, you know, do away with them. Or <laughs> right. But if you can adjust the energy system, mm -hmm. like what caused that illness to show up? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where is the energy intrusion? Where is that yes. thing that's actually making you out of alignment? Mm -hmm. And your chakra is not balanced in the properly. That's right. And I go through the chakras mm -hmm. quite a bit mm -hmm. in the modules because the information that we get on the chakras is always these ideal things of what they stand for. But what about when they're contaminated? What does mm -hmm. that cause? And so we go through some of that information. Oh, wow. Sounds like it's a great, great webinar. I, I, <laughs> I think, I think, I think they're great. I'm going to tune in. <laughs> is there anything else you want to add? It's always fun. We'll have to do another interview. We'll, we'll come up with another yeah, topic. <laughs> I, I'm jazzed about this. I am too. I'm, I'm really jazzed <laughs> about it. Just hearing about it. I think that they are exceptional. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm a very results-oriented person. I'm somebody that if things aren't working, I quit doing them because I want to see results. Mm -hmm. And I feel like these match that need in me, mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. will get people the results that they need. And you will get feedback, right? I will get feedback. We have people doing test pilots with them and various things like that. And people that want to write about it, you know, write me can also do that too. I yeah. just came up with another idea. Next sure. time I'll interview you and one of the person that did, one or two people did the webinar. We'll see. Great. Well, that would be good. Wouldn't that it? would be great. <laughs> Maybe you can do it. <laughs> Maybe I can do it. Yeah. I, I want to raise my vapor. I'm working yeah. on it. Yeah. I'm not there yet, but I'm yeah. working on it. Well, we all are. We're all yeah. in process. Yeah. And just people that are interested in that kind of thing you are making such amazing strides already mm -hmm. it's just it's fabulous Thank you. and you know i just want to applaud all those efforts and again this tool is for whatever level you are mm -hmm. we can all benefit from right. it because they they are foundational mm -hmm. they're the cornerstones of how and why it works and so if you wanted to do acupuncture, if you wanted to do the violet ray that you were talking about mm -hmm. to me earlier, whatever those techniques are, they're great. You apply, all those techniques work because of what you're, the information you're going to mm -hmm. get in these webinars. It's so it's the foundational mm -hmm. part of how the energy works and why it works. So this is be a great starting, starting point even if you've studied this for years or if you've never seen it before, this would be a great point for any place you are on the scale. Yes. Yeah. In fact, I'm having many of my students who are doctoral level mm -hmm. practitioners, you know, sh shamanic practitioners, have them do it. Mm -hmm. Because again, it also gives a language to explain things to people that sometimes shamanism doesn't provide. So it's, it's nice. Like you could sit down and watch it with your kids or your, your spouse. I think or it's your good partner. to have it with the kids. I mean, we sh if we've learned when we were younger, we wouldn't have to go through all this suffering. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you want to add? I think this has been great. Um, I, I don't think so. I think we covered thank a lot. You so much for the oh, interview. Oh, you're welcome. It's yeah. my pleasure. Yeah. So I'll have you back. So um, thank you for watching another edition of Pauline Interviews, and we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.